needle holders, artery forceps and scissors are all held in the same way. The ring finger and thumb are placed through the rings of the instrument. The index finger is placed along the shaft and, together with the middle finger, steadies the instrument. Suture holding forceps and artery forceps have a clamping mechanism. Surgeons should master clamping and release of the clamp with both the right and left hand, keeping the tip of the instrument still at all times. An instrument tie is often used on the skin and for delicate, accurate suturing, such as intestinal or vascular anastomosis. Surgeons often put a double throw on the first tie to prevent the knot slipping. For routine use, a curved needle is gripped approximately one-fifth in from the suture attachment end at right angles to the forcep and also held well within the jaws for maximum security. For penetration of tough tissue, the needle may be held at its centre, and for deep sutures, it may be necessary to hold it very close to the suture attachment. Never grip the sharp end, which is easily damaged. Care should be taken handling all sharps, using instruments and never the hand. The scalpel blade is carefully removed from its packet using needle holding forceps. It is held at its tip, allowing it to be attached to the handle. It is also removed with forceps and carefully disposed of into a special sharp spin. The scalpel is held between the middle finger and thumb, placing the index finger close to the blade, applying downwards pressure, and the other fingers steady the handle. When cutting the skin, a single positive stroke should be performed. The surgeon's knot gives increased security, particularly for monofilament materials such as polypropylene, where knots tend to slip. A double throw is used on the first and second ties. Mattress sutures are used to prevent inversion of the skin edges, particularly where skin is thin, such as on the back of the hand. A simple suture is inserted first and then the needle is reversed. The needle is passed back through the two skin edges, placing these sutures very superficially. Monofilament nylon is being used with an instrument tie. In simple skin suturing, the needle is inserted vertically, emerging at the deepest point of the wound. It is then placed deeply to emerge through the skin symmetrically with the first side. Monofilament nylon is often used. Training surgeons initially tend to place their sutures too close to the skin edge and too superficially. When tying a deeply placed vessel, it is important that the surgeon takes the knot down to the vessel, rather than pull the vessel upwards, which would risk avulsion. During small bowel resection, the vascular arcade is identified, sometimes aided by translumination, and suitable sites for ligation are chosen to devascularize the bowel but maximally preserve circulation. Windows between the vessels are opened, forceps applied, the vessel divided and ligated with absorbable sutures.